Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Welcome to our cast. This is When Christmas Speak Talk Radio. I'm your host, Reverend Ray. This is the Sunday Night Review with myself. I'm called Sunday Night Review with Reverend Ray, man. We're broadcasting live to the D.C. It's a new broadcast. We're trying to test out some things and work some things out. This is the Valerie come back or we do another segment of the Bread of Life. Again, I just want to welcome you to the broadcast. Thank you for um, coming in and everything. And we pray that this broadcast will be a blessing to you. And I hope like crazy that you guys can hear me because um, I don't hear an echo um, listening to this thing right here. So let me do some things. Make sure that's on, that's on, that everything is working. So um, 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 um. all right, I'll tell you what, let's play some music. Let's do that. Let's do this. Amen. All right, let's try this again. Welcome to the broadcast. This is When Christmas Speak Talk Radio. I'm your host, Reverend Ray. We're broadcasting live from the Washington, D.C. area. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start this out with prayer. Amen. Father God, we just want to come and say thank you for the day on this Sunday afternoon, this Sunday night, Lord Jesus. We praise you for the things that you're doing in our life, God. We pray that you, that you will bless this broadcast, God. We pray that you take control over every audio equipment as a part of it, God, that you will begin to move, Lord Jesus, that you will begin to show yourself mighty unto us, God. We can't do this thing by ourselves. Every time we try, we fail. So we need you, Holy Spirit, to come into our life and to break down every idol and to cast out every foe, God. Come, Holy Spirit, come today, God, and begin to change, begin to save, begin to heal. Whatever needs to be done during this broadcast, God, we pray that you would do. We thank you for the day, but truly this is the day that you have made, that you have made, and we are glad. And, and again, again, you're listening to When Christmas Speak Talk Radio. Amen. Um, we're broadcasting from the Washington, D.C. area. This is Sunday Night Review with, with myself, Amen, Reverend Ray. Uh, if you have a desire to call into the show, hopefully, like I said, it's working. Uh, the number is 646-478-0660. Amen. Give me a call. Amen. We'd just love to hear from you. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We want to do like a quick review of what's been going on this week, man. We had some awesome awesome speakers this week. Amen. Um, uh, of course, uh, uh, Reverend Pat spoke on Thursday on, on the declaring the finished work. Amen. Um, that, that was Thursday at 12 noon. She had a great message. But we also had some great pre- um, preachers that come in on um, Friday, man, on Friday Night Joy. We had Prophetess LaMonica Williams come in. She is founder of Healing the Retreat. And they, amen. Not more about it. Healing Ref. I think it's healingrc.com. I think I put that on the on Facebook page. And I'm more about her. I mean, she came in with the mighty word, sharing what she's doing and trying to help out people that are suffering um, from depression, suffering from any of the emotional things that goes on with them um, and everything, and, and bringing Christ and making this a Christ factor also. And even to the point where we're saying that she had prayer with these Glad to have her on board and let her have her be a part of, of, of on Friday Night Joy. And she said a lot of good, positive 
information out to for everybody to listen. So as I always say, if you're going through something, don't try to do it by yourself. Please get the help that's needed and amen. That God will be a blessing to you. We need you to survive. We need you to know that there is somebody out there that love you. So don't do any harm to yourself and definitely don't do any harm to anyone else. We pray that you will get the help. You know, seek counseling or prayer. Seek all the above you holistic approach to get your healing, you know, because we both know that God is a healer and there's nothing too hard for him to do. So we thank Prophet LaMonica for that, that great word that she had on Friday Night Joy. Amen. You can go to her website again and you can find out a little bit more about what it is that she do. And the um, thing is that she can do phone conferences. She can come see you. I mean, you know, within reason or you can go see her, whatever the case might be. She's well-rounded. In fact, I'll talk school down to get her doctor degree in this. So uh, we, we, it's good to know that God has prepared this woman of God for such a time as to do this type of counseling for people that may be in need, whether they know Christ or whether you know, she does it all across the board, but she comes in with a Christ with a, um, with a Christ factor. And that's a good thing and a good place to be. Amen. The other thing is that we want to uh, remind you, also we uh, on on Saturday, we have we have Pastor Paul Morgan um, and he, of Chosen Generation Church, Chosen Generation Ministries in Richmond, Virginia. Now, he does also the same thing. Um, but he's a Christian counselor, and then man, he's been doing this for a while. He was with Reverend Pet on uh, on on Saturday, on yesterday, I and mean, then with uh, 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 Wings of the Spirit, and that also was a blessing. So we have both for two days now offered you a way to get help through two different people. Now, now Paul Morgan is located in Richmond, Virginia, and Amen. Pastor Paul and Prophet Monica is local, um, you know, and everything. So, but they can both do it either or. Listen to uh, Pastor Paul talk yesterday. He was talking about um, how a lot of his stuff that he does can be done on Skype just to counsel people and all that kind of stuff. Not necessarily them coming to Richmond, but he can do it on Skype. And he, um, like La Monica, Prophetess La Monica, um, offer themselves out to you so you don't have to go through this by yourself. And listen to him. I've heard Pastor Morgan preaching and, uh, before because he's been a visitor at our church and did a couple of men conference and women's conference, that kind of thing. He is an awesome preacher of God. We do encourage you to go back and listen to either one to Power Pack Broadcast team there um, that you know about that you need to um, find out about download, I mean, go back and look at somebody else that are going. Amen. We are excited about tomorrow, Wings of the Spirit again. This is with um, Pat, Reverend Pat B, you know, Evangelist Lewis McCook, and I'm probably his name, McCook. Um, he'll be on tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Uh, this is a special broadcast. Normally, we don't do a broadcast on when, on Monday, but we should be talking with him. So that's what we got going on. This is just a quick review. And it going to focus on the future things that we got. Uh, also, when that's the 19th of weeks. Um, <laughs> this is guest speaker. Um, Doc, Eric Doc Pearson will be with, with Reverend. Um, if you talk different things, it's coming on every single day. Uh, this and then on, on, on Friday, I'm trying to work it out at the details and stuff like that. I'm trying to bring you back. Um, again, the name of Gina Kane. Um, Gina Kane broadcast in the beginning of what we would mess up. So we're trying to, she got back. When I first talked to this young lady, none of those things was in effect, you know. You know to the broadcast that she does, it was called Second Amen. And she was talking, telling her. On it. Uh, and when I first met this young lady, she was talking about I didn't put a knocker and everything, but I did pray for her. I wanted, you know, she said she was surrounded by people that knew Jesus Christ and everything. And so sometimes, man, the, the best thing is you, you, you do a loving kindness and everything. So she got some great news to tell us. And hopefully I can get that to work for Friday Night Joy uh, on uh, next Friday and everything. But the interview in the process of the uh, pre-recorded thing, I'm doing that on a Thursday. So I'm looking excited, man. This is a blessed week. A lot of different things are going on. Uh, um, 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 Tuesday, I mean, strong, I mean, I'm sorry. Don't forget about Tuesday with 
Pastor William, uh, the uh, his abounding grace broadcast that's every Tuesday at 7 p.m. She will be with us this Tuesday to do a live broadcast, so we are grateful for that. So his abounding grace broadcast from Mr. Van. That's this Tuesday coming up. Amen. Then of course the clan to finish work with Reverend Pat Randall. Uh, that's this Thursday at 12 noon. In fact, mistaken notes real quick. Um, this that that Thursday would be coming it. So Pat. Reverend Paul Morgan will be back with us on that Thursday at twelve at twelve noon. That's on the twentieth. Okay, so she'll be back with us on that on that Thursday. Amen. I mean, he'll be back with us on that Thursday. Um, coming de- declaring the finished work. Amen. And then, we, like I said, we got Friday night joy coming up. And then, um, then we also got uh, August fourth at seven p.m. That's on the that's on the Monday. Amen. Uh, Trinita Thomas will be with us. She's been on. I'll bring back some of the old faces too that uh, and everything that have blessed us and everything. Uh, then, of course, uh, Paul Morgan will be with us on August the, 20, August the 26th, the 27th, and uh, the 29th. Amen. So he's going to be doing us. He's doing a series. Do not miss out on this. Uh, the things that God is doing is like we encourage you to tell somebody about him and about. All the different preachers that we got things. So we're excited about the broadcast. We're excited about the different things that God is doing. Amen. And um we know that God is just good and just he's just so worthy to be praised. Amen. Looking forward to that. We ask that you um stay tuned, stay tuned and stay tuned and stay tuned. If this not recorded we'll probably end up doing it all over again and I say the same thing right. But anyway, we're gonna move forward. So with that being said, we want to encourage you to go to our website, whenchristianspeak.com, and amen. Oh, our Facebook page. Like us or leave us some remarks on our Facebook page, and amen. If you're interested in coming on to the broadcast, you can get in contact with me, amen, at whenchristianspeak at gmail.com. Give me a holler and everything. Let me know that you whether you've written a book or you got a, 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 a non-profit organization or you a singer. By all means, get in contact. We'd love to play your music or highlight your music that time that type of thing and this is what we do this is the reason why we do it amen so we would love to do that kind of thing we also care, care to go to whenchristianspeak.com and so many things that we got going on there. a lot of things got, got going on like I'm, I'm looking at it really updated and everything and bring it make it look better you know uh, whenchristianspeak.com we have two apps there the free apps to download to your your apple and your products and Thing so you can listen to get out of the um, out very quickly. We encourage you. To, uh, we also want to today about the person of our as opportunity not and pro also sponsored go by your dot com all one word you to go and check out those websites again the nots dot dot com and your um, and what your good book that got is I get to buy in a very uh strange market right now and don't know what's gonna happen next, but you should begin to, you know, diversify a little bit. And it's not good is gonna always be <laughs> go to point and this in the right time my life there will be what we offer you opportunity actually you can um sign up as a let's go ahead and purchase go through the program and everything, so there's a link there uh, that will tell you a little bit more about it. Amen. So we so on with ChristianSpeak.com, we do have an, a, a, a thing with Apple where you can go and buy coffee for your Keurig machine, and you can buy download some books. I mean, you can get your music, all that kind of stuff. And what this do for us is it help offset the cost because there's a cost involved in what we do and everything. Um, it offset the cost. Nobody makes any money here, <laughs> so it's basically just offset whatever cost that we have to um, to run this minute because this is what this is, and this is a ministry that passed myself, Valerie, um, 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 Minister Van, and, and also um, Prophet Carla, we out of the bottom of our heart. And we do this, we bring you the best of the best of people that may be well, may not be well. We try to bring them into the uh, into us and bless so that you would get fed. So you, do you know about your 
something, so that you know about your, your spirit, so that you know about your emotional state, you know how to deal with people that are going through depression, and, and you'll know how to, how to. So we try to bring a lot of educational, uplifting things to do that on. Okay, that's why we do what we do. The other thing that I want to um, let you know um, also is that we are working on a lot of different things. We broadcast on iTunes. We broadcast on, on Spreaker.com. We are on radio, amen, that, that, that you can listen to on your TV set. I mean, we're all over the place. Our heart radio, we're on that. We're, we're located there, you know, um, uh, we're different, all different places. And we're always trying to improve and what we do and also put it out more so what we do so more people can listen and um, on different formats. So we're in a process of growth right now and trying to work out the kinks of this, what it is to do and get more professional with it professional sounding and everything. So we are always looking for sponsors, advertisers, or anyone like that that would like to add to the ministry. If you have a desire to do that, just get in contact with me again at whenchristianspeak at com. We would love to have you. I'd love to have you do anything and everything necessary for this ministry to get even further. We do thank you, of course, always for those that are listening, not only in the United States, that come from the different nations, man. We're, we're highly represented. I think the last count is that we're in almost about 40 different nations, and that's from the Philippines to Japan to <laughs> to, to Russia to Egypt, and even in China in some places and everything. So we're grateful, and um, even in the middle, a lot of countries in the Middle East, we're grateful for those that are listening to our broadcast that do tell, tune in and everything. And we do want to love on you. We do want to share with you and tell you just how much do we care and how much do we need you in our life today. Amen. So that's what we do. That's why we uh, we do what we do and everything. So I w- also wanted to – let me see what I just did. Okay. Don't need that. Amen. I'm not gonna be before you long, but let's like, like I said, this is about a weekend review. A lot of a lot of things are still going on. Football season has started, has begun a preseason. I mean, it's starting, it's already beginning to get crazy. You know, I'm an avid football fan, love football, love God more. Don't get it, don't get it twisted, but love my football. So that's already beginning to get started. So we're grateful <laughs> that finally the summer is to see some football action uh, um, and stuff like that. Uh, what else is going on? Of course, Donald Trump is still being Donald Trump <laughs> and everything. If y'all remember the message, I preached the message a while back. You can go back to Blog Talk Radio and check it out. That let the world be the world, but God said you remain. God said you remain faithful, and I still want to stick by that and continue because that's in my in my belly to to keep saying that that the world is going to be the world. The world is going to say what they want to say. The world's going to make laws. The world's going to do this. The world's going to try to find justice in their own sin and manner. But we, the church, we the body of, of Christ. Need to, need, need to remain faithful. Yes, we need to pray for the world. I mean, because that's what Jesus do. Intercede on their behalf. But we need to remain faithful in the things of God. We need to remain faithful in the calling that God has on our life. And we need to remain faithful and diligent about going out to the hedges and the highways in the world and comparing men and women to come in. Because there's a word, there are some that are seeking and looking for answers. And because we are not all of us, some of us are not in place, they can't find that. So hopefully and prayerfully, the thing that God, we desire to God, say, God, help me to be in place that I might be, um, about that I might be, might be to somebody that somebody like my change because of that testimony that you're giving me. So that's there and that's the case right here, okay? So that's what we do while we're talking about this right now. Amen and stuff like that. Um we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break. We'll be back in a minute and um, um we're gonna play another song. Amen. I think we're gonna play uh, uh let's see what we're gonna play. <laughs> Jessica Wright, Glory and Design, Amen. And you 
Thank you. Welcome to the broadcast. This is Speed Talk Radio. Your host, Reverend Ray. We are broadcasting live from the D.C. area on this Sunday afternoon. Amen. This is just more of a Sunday night review. Just talk about some different things and some prayer and um, uh, Lord God will us to do. Amen. We want to do. Amen. I mean, I did get a chance to go to church this this Sunday. As most of you may or may not know, have been sort of like out of it. Uh, there's some damage to a to my leg and everything. To a point where I'm on crutches, a walker, and a cane. <laughs> Take my pick and everything. But um, um, it's good. So I get a chance to go to church uh, today and I really enjoyed the message by Pastor James Robinson out of the Tree of Life Christian Ministry located in Clinton, Maryland. If you're ever in the area, by all means, come pay us a visit, man. He was he was talking about, um, basically was talking about what's going on now. And we should not judge that kind of thing. And um, the, the message deal, oh, like I got the CD. I got the CD, and I think I took it out. Okay. Yep, got it. Let me grab this real quick. I'm doing a series. Ow. 
There we go. So we're gonna try to put this on there. One of these, one of these is called distinction. Now the message is called distinction, and basically it deals with how would how would the house to the church um, handle what's going on with the gay, the gay, the lesbian, and gay community? How did the church handle it? Um, and we in his message it says that the church right now is not doing a good job of it. It's, if we handled it wrong from the start, and we handled it now, now wrong right now, and we should come from a total perspective and everything, and first the church needs to operate and find a way to get its stuff together first and stuff like that. Um, and we, but we're so bad, so busy judging them and everything. And again, he's not approving what they're doing because it's strictly against the word of God. But it also um, <laughs> comes to, you look, look at our sin, we got um, adultery happening in the church. We got fornication. We got people that's lying. We got people that's stealing. We got all kinds of backbiting, all kinds of other sins that operate in the body of Christ that also needs to be addressed. Amen. And things like that. And um, I always a firm believer that the best way um, to reach somebody is to on them and to them in a more excellent way and everything, and not to look at them in judgment or, or anything like that. And that has seemed to have worked for me for a very long time. And as I was talking about uh, um, Gina King, that's supposed to be, um, was supposed to be, hopefully I would have the, 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 the pre take and everything done by for, for Friday's broadcast. You know, uh, when I first heard her, heard her on, uh, she was a little concerned whether she would fit uh, what we did on our program because this is a Christian program and it and operated miracle life and everything and, and it kept around us and now you you, you got to come back and listen to her book listen to her testimony again and if, and and I had to look at it from what I saw that God was doing and then God was not finished with the, this this particular young lady and everything and um, I didn't want her to. Didn't want to judge it. Didn't want to. We did that. We on the broadcast. We still do what we normally do. We still have prayer and everything. And I've been on her broadcast also. I mean, I've still me talked about talked about my relationship with me, saved my suicide and all that kind of stuff for me on her broadcast. And, and we still did everything. When she came on my broadcast with Christmas week, we did the exact same thing. I mean, we talked. We we didn't change our format because she didn't believe. And, and the thing is, for us. You know, and what my pastor talking about, what what I'm wondering is the church has the church settled for the other sins, and then when this one thing comes out, that we told turning totally against it to the point where we begin to discriminate, or we begin to um uh um I'm not not talking about something like that, but not show them an excellent way, you know, show them more of an excellent way and stuff like that, show them the love of Christ, show them. Uh, that that this is that the lifestyle is not good, well and stuff like that. But not judge, not in a judging way, but in a loving way. Amen. And, and preach the gospel unto them and everything. Because some of them are looking for. I mean, I heard the word today. That some of them are looking, for, but not just them. There are people that are other committing adultery that are looking for a way out. There are people that are committing fornication that are looking for. There are people that have keep you lying, but and they're looking for a way out. There are people that's ready to commit suicide for a way out. You know, looking for everything. And we give them Jesus. I'm not saying that they come in, they they take with their whole church and they do th that lifestyle. No, because that lifestyle wouldn't be possible. And it won't be acceptable to me. It won't be accept acceptable. That and of course, seeing it from a perspective, you know, we we change it from a perspective. She will code her given the word. Yes, the word is kind of you know, it's the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is what's going to change, which is going to mold, which is going to the spirit of the and do those, but we need to be in the, our life and what we saw. Reflect on say who we are and who we say we are. A change game because if you sound doctrine, person is not going to be able to stay whoever they are. I don't care the homosexual or uh, 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 trans, fornicator, dealer, uh, uh, promiscuous, whatever. We're not in that kind of you know, Jesus. They were, they were 
change because the doctors don't have individuals to take a change with in Jesus Christ, the cross and priest Jesus Christ, the the the, the mercy of It's been, and I'm, again, I'm, I can't say it like he did, but, but I've always said myself, the church is a, it has to be feeling it going on in the church. If you're in the church and you have been chained from one point to the next point, something is wrong. If you're still doing the same years ago and you, there's no growth, something is wrong. The church should be a growth, be allowed to grow. Now, you might grow, and some people grow at a very fast rate, or some people grow. But it can grow some spiritual maturity um, to the point where, as the Bible says, uh, you, we no longer give. But we, you know, you eating the, the good stuff now. We no longer um, hold that. But yeah, you know how to go to the NFC on your own because time and stuff like that. The Word of God is being and you beginning to prick your heart, something would take place in the mind. Something would take place in your life. Change your life. You don't want to do Oh, we can keep doing it. In fact, every time you fall down, you will feel that God will say, it's your song. Be given and everything. So what I'm saying, all of us, and I'm saying, even all the churches are pastors, let's, let's look at this from a different perspective. Let's try to win them with the love of God, you know, Let's try to win them like that. Let's try to tell them that everybody is not going to come from over there. Everybody's not going to receive the, everybody to receive the message of Christ. When Jesus did, they, they, some people they want some people want to stone them, you know, call them Be- Beelzebub and call them the, the son of the devil and all these different things. So that, what that means? Well, we're not going to get everybody. Some people go, is going to where they are, or be um, be satisfied where they are and stuff like that. And nothing you say is going to make a difference. But our task is our task is to, task is to show them our task is much more excellent. Make sure this broad and everything. If not, I gotta go back and do this all over again. But I do want to carry it you again. Don't forget his grace broadcast with Minister Van. That would be Amen at seven. Plan to finish work with Reverend Pat Randall. Let me turn back to my note quick. And um, let's see where was it? Yeah, Reverend Pat Randall, Amen. And um, at Alex says she had uh, this Thursday, Amen. Uh, um, Pastor Paul Morgan will be back with us on twelve noon, Amen. Praise God for that. And of course, we got uh, uh, Friday. Uh, for hopefully, uh, the Gina, Gina came. Uh, 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 broadcast with me on for Friday night joy. We can do that. Starting together with uh, said they're starting together with Sister Valerie or myself or another segment of Sunday night review will be on this Sunday, this coming Sunday at seven p.m. The Alabaster Box with Prophet Carla Johnson. That's every fourth day at seven p.m. Amen. Um, did I miss anything? I think I got everything. And let me just go back to the people that are coming. You know, we want to thank broadcast again. But and he got this much crazy man. All kinds of guys. Down there, August the fifth. And you can go back and listen to the the um, the, um, the archive broadcast. That was an awesome word of God. We had Reverend Francis Minson with us on Friday night. Joy man, um, August the seventh. That was an awesome word of God. Just talking about our health. Um, Prophet Lamonica Williams was on Friday. Was on Friday night. Joy on August. The and man, she gave an excellent word, you know, word, word on, you know, and stuff like that. Um, go back and listen to um, the word that she gave, and in fact, she even gave some a lot of advice about getting here, getting help. Pastor Paul Morgan was here Saturday, August the fifteenth. Another great word, and then we're looking forward to Monday and Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> Amen. Louis Lewin, uh, Derek Peterson will be on Wednesday, August the nineteenth. Pastor Paul Morgan will be with us back up with us on Thursday, August the twentieth. Trinita Thompson will be with us on Monday, August the twenty fourth. And then Pastor Paul Morgan will be with will close us out in August, Wednesday, August the twenty sixth at seven PM and Thursday, August the twenty seventh noon. And also, um, I don't know how we can do that, but um August the twenty ninth 
at 7 p.m. So we got a lot of different things that's going on. Amen. We are grateful uh, about that and things that God is doing in our life. So we look forward um, to amen and amen and amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'm just looking at some things, make sure I'm getting some things done. So. Amen. But um, anyway, so that's what we got. And to get the declaring the friends with Pat is rolling, man. We were rolling. We got all these guys coming in. We want you to be blessed. You know, we want you to, to God to bless you. We want God to bless you. We want to bless you. Uh, we want him uh, to the curse from you. So we want you to seek after the God. Uh, you know, seek after the faith of the Lord. You know, do whatever you got to do and everything closer walk and a closer connection with Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior. Amen. So we can go ahead and get on out of here. Like I said, we're not going to be before you long. Uh, uh, maybe next Sunday we have a word <laughs> and we can spend some more time doing this and everything. But check out WhenChristensSpeak.com, man. Check us out on the website. Check us out on our Facebook page at When Christmas Speak. Uh, we have two. And also check out, by all means, Christians Against Suicide and Depression. I always uh, say that we're not against the person, but we are against the the spirit because it's a spiritual warfare that we're in. Um, and so we encourage you again, as always, when we do this show, don't do anything to yourself. Do, uh, put down the sword, put down the pills, put down the, the gun, the knife, or whatever, and stuff like that. And know that God is real for you, that He loves you. Seek after Him. You know, find a Bible believing, holy fear, spirit filled. Um, teaching disciples which ch- church to belong to, amen, and get a part of that they will love you, you know, and, and show you a more excellent way to show you the love of God. Find that it's so important. Yes, we broadcast on the air. Yes, there's all kind of Christian broadcasts all over the TV and everything, but it's nothing like that, co- that connection. Yes, I know that you've been hurt before in the church and the pastor did this and, or somebody did that and all that. And stuff, but find that man. we need that fellowship with one another and one another. And not me personally, I need you to survive because God is not finished with you yet. Amen. Amen. Okay, we're gonna get on. This is a song called Melt by Gregory Bateson. I mean, y'all be blessed. Thank you for listening to When Christmas Speak Talk Radio. This has been the Sunday Night Review with Reverend Ray. Be blessed, be blessed, and be blessed. <laughs> that you love me No one understands me the way you do Just the way I am you want to be near me But I can't help but change when I am near you Can't help but thinking where I'd be without your love. And I just melt all the coldness of my heart, all the lies keeping us apart, and all my walls inside just fall away to your love and your grace. And I melt at the mirror. Of your name I've forgotten how to be ashamed Cause when you move on me The only thing I want to be Is yours 